I said, uh, and Alex, Alex turned to me one night and says, isn't that, Don? I says, Rickles would not lower himself to sticking his face up through some, some carpet. And I looked again, and you, you certainly did. Enzo 5... White clean carpet. Oh, what, do, do, do never mind the commercial. No, I must tell you, I did that. I stick my head through that carpet because I need money to take you and your wife out. I need the money. <laughs> did you get a lot of money for that? Big buck? Did I get a lot of money? Yeah, did you get Did you ever hang out with Freddie and Ed for crying out loud? They, go to, they don't order food. You say, what do you want to eat? <laughs> Buckets. Madeline, you're too excitable. Anyway, I've got to tell you this. The God's truth is that you do this for money, and I well, do this. For, it's do a it. great, it's a great carpet commercial. It really uh, is. I love the carpet. I get up every morning. I say to wife, "Good morning," and we go go. Ah, what carpet? And then the dog shows up, and we back off. But uh, no, it is great. It's a great to do commercials. You don't do commercials. You don't have to. You're, you're set. You know what I mean? You just sit there in the chair. <laughs> Because you know, you know darn well, after you pay off your kids, after you pay off Alex, after you pay Whoa. off the world, no, eventually you're going to get moody and tell her to take a car. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, even then, <laughs> even then, I will not stick my face up through a carpet. <laughs> I don't care. I got to preface one thing. If Alex is listening, we love her, and we make jokes about it. Oh, yes. She is the most charming lady, really. Since Johnny's married to her, I've seen a big difference in Johnny. He's been so wonderful, he keeps saying, I believe it's your check. Uh, but he, you really, you really, I'm, I'm happy for you, well, and I'm, I'm happy for you and Alex. Well, I'm happy for you, and, and I'm happy for you and Barbara. We're all happy. We're all happy. And bless you. And, bless you. and I'm happy that you're I'm happy, happy that and we're all happy. happy. <laughs> okay. Ed's the only one sitting on the hand going, is it my turn? Okay. <laughs> We have to take Ed, a break? Do this to relax yourself. Oh. oh. <laughs> <coughs> Tomorrow night, anyway, you open it. Uh, I'm going to mention that again. Well, we don't know. According to the ball game, I don't know when I open. <laughs> you gave such a description, I don't even know if I'm here next Wednesday. If this is Thursday, if you this people are watching this and this is Wednesday, it. you're at the hotel now. That's right. Doing a great job keeping your name alive. That's right. And Freddie to cover it, to cover it, to cover it. The kitty. To keep it. We'll be right back. Janet, after this I love message. you. <laughs> okay. Now we have another problem, folks. Now I understand. Before we say good night, you said your mother, Madeline, is going to be disappointed because if this show's not seen tonight, she's staying up waiting for it, right? Yes, and it won't be easy for her to wait up. Will I? <laughs> All right, so, um... Any number of people will be waiting. All right, so she'll wait at 11.30. On, so where, do, where does she live? Out here. All right, so if 11.30 we're not on, uh, to tomorrow sleep. night. Yeah. Your daughter will How old a woman is she? Uh, should I... Uh, yeah, you can she's tell. She's 63. Well, anyway, uh... I'll put her to sleep. She's she can handle that. <laughs> anyway, she's we hope... She's, she's cute. I'm sure she is. Johnny, you want to meet another woman? Well, no, thank you. <laughs> anyway, uh... uh we hope we're seeing tonight, which is Wednesday. You open uh, tomorrow night, which is October the 14th, actually. It, providing Ozzy Smith doesn't slide, and the Giants, and Jeffrey Leonard comes up and says, I want to hit a home run, I want to hit a home run. <laughs> so we don't know what's going to happen. Anyway. And you don't really care, because your, your career's alive, You'll be and there. she and I are destroyed with this whole show. You'll be there for, uh, <laughs> you'll be there for two weeks anyway. Two right? weeks, unless you hear something. Up the Golden Nugget. At the Golden Nugget, right. Okay. One of the great hotels downtown where Steve Wynn is walking around going, I know Donald Trump. <laughs> anyway, uh... That's an inside joke, but don't worry well, I'll, about it. I'll look for your face on television. Fine, I will too. <laughs> uh, so you don't like George? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. To Somebody died. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Madeline. Tomorrow night we have Tim Conway will be here, comedian Kevin and Kevin Kevin Rooney. Take your time. Don't be nervous. Thank it's you. your show. And from Amen, Jester Harrison. Jester Harrison. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. He drinks. He drinks. Next on late night with David Letterman. David welcomes Jack Hanna of the Columbus Zoo and comedian Elaine Beasley. Then start your day with NBC News at sunrise. And tomorrow morning, wake up with today.